What a beautiful day on the creek to put some night crawlers in the water and see what I catch. Now, I was here just the other day with my big rods, which I still have with me, and some fresh skipjack. And I didn't catch anything at all in this section of the creek. However, at this particular spot, something ripped apart my skipjack. So there's something here. And I'm hoping that I might be able to catch it right now. I didn't have anything small to fish with then, but now I brought my two ultralights. I've also brought my live well cooler just in case I catch, I don't know, a creek chub or bluegill or even a bullhead. There are bullheads in here. And there's a little bit of current too. Hopefully these sinkers will help hold it on the bottom with this little bit amount of current. I need to change this hook out. Actually, no, I'm gonna keep that hook on there. Maybe I catch something even smaller. There we go, tiny piece of night crawler. <laughs> Had to go through some brush to get here and skinny water. There's about a huge area of about a foot of water that I have to go through to get to the creek part of the creek. All right. I'm gonna sit back, relax, and hope I can catch something. There we go. Whoa. <laughs> wow. Getting wrapped up in my other line. <laughs> A little bit bigger than I thought I'd be catching, whatever this is. Oh, hey. Big old channel catfish on ultralight. This guy's big enough to eat the skipjack I had out yesterday, so, wow. Drop a worm in the creek and see what happens, right? <laughs> and get me wet. <laughs> Thankfully I brought a net for a bigger small fish. <laughs> wow. Oh, man. <laughs> wow. Not what I was expecting at all. Although I know they're in here. But, wow. The hook is right in the corner of the mouth, too. Just like a Team Catfish Double Action Circle Hook. These Flea Fly Bait Boss hooks. <laughs> ow, ow. Very nice looking channel cat, look at that. Wow. <laughs> On night crawlers. Of course they're gonna eat night crawlers. I think this is a male. You can tell by the two humps on the head. Really cool. Nice channel catfish in the creek. Now I gotta get my lines untangled. They're not too bad, I don't think. Like they say, sometimes you never know what you're gonna catch when you go fishing. I do believe this is heavier line. I think 
that one is six pound line strin original and this is eight pound strin original Maybe another big channel will decide to drop by. I want to show you guys this real quick. Unlimited bobbers. It has a hook on it with a worm still on it. Things you can find in the creek. A thrill bobber. Kind of broke. Another round bobber. Up the creek from here is a popular fishing spot. I'd need a chainsaw to get to it though. There's a lot of wood in the way now. But got me some bobbers. out of the boat oh there we go white bass he's got a little bit of a yellow tint this might be a yellow bass getting a variety of fish yeah I think this is a white bass Whoa. fish just love jumping out of my hands Maybe I'll use this as a thumbnail. All right, cool. So I've caught a fish on both rods and I get to reuse my bait. I wanna check this one, this moved. Yep, got robbed, no bait. Okay, I'm gonna try to rig a whole night crawler on here and see what happens. These night crawlers are a few weeks old and they're not looking too good. Oh. <laughs> There we go. Another little white bass. White bass must be running up the creek. I think my buddy Clint would be proud of me. He likes using white bass to catch catfish with. It took my bait, so I have to put another tiny piece on. Small pieces catching more fish. Something small picking away the big one. <laughs> No more whole night crawler on this one. All right, put this little piece back out. I do get a lot of car noise back here because there's a major highway that way. However, it's still nice to be back here. It's nice and calm, nice place to catch fish, nice place to get away from everything. Something playing with it. Saw it on the line. <laughs> Another white bass. Bunch of little ones.
crawler piece over and over again till they finally get it off the hook. There goes my line again. Nothing on the rod. Oh wow. Was a little bit stronger. Oh, that's why. Drum, and he swallowed the hook. Okay, I had to break the line on that one. A little bit too tough to get to. Little bitty drum. I actually caught one here a while back, or a buddy caught one, I can't remember. A little bit bigger than this. He didn't even move the rod. Thankfully, I've got a bunch of hooks. All right, got the hook snelled back on there. I just use the easy snells. On small hooks like this and hope the snell doesn't get unraveled like what happened on my live stream all right going with half a night crawler i'm going to check this one i still got my worm huh going on too. Huh. There we go. Bluegill. Really light colored bluegill. Done swallowed my hook. Oh that was easy. He is bleeding a little bit so I'm going to let him go. Yo. four different types of fish today. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Another white bass and of course he swallowed my hook. Man, this one's a J hook, that's a circle hook. But when you get fish this small, even a circle hook can be swallowed. Can't get that one. There you go. I guess I'll put a bait boss on this one. Whoa. Hello. Still there? Yep. <laughs> Man, can't even get a hook on my cut line. Lots of white bass today. Alright. I really don't have much time left. I'm not staying here after dark. I want to get through the shallow water before the sun goes down. So I'm going to catch maybe two or three more fish and then I'll probably call it. Putting a bigger piece of night crawler on this one. Now 
Now before I end this, I have to try around the wood here. I'm going to use one of the bobbers I found. in the tree. I'll grab that bobber on the way out. Something's eating this one. There we go. And of course, another drum <laughs> who swallowed my hook. All right, I think this is going to be the last fish of the day. Nice drum. <laughs> Ow. If we behave, I can show it to you guys. <laughs> a lot of people like to use these as bait, but they smell really, really bad when you cut them apart. But that is a drum. Migrating up the creek to spawn. Well, I guess what I'm going to do, I'm going to re-rig both of these and then I got to head out of here. I don't want to be in skinny water in the dark bad things can happen and will happen and have happened to me in skinny water at dark but i thought this was a real good quick fishing trip on my local creek and i really do hope you guys enjoyed this video if i end up selling this boat i'm going to have to buy a tiny boat to get back here again or a kayak maybe i'll put a pole up once i get the big guide boat ready and i decide to sell this boat should i get a kayak or should I get a tiny boat? Because getting a 24 foot sea arc up this creek is going to be nearly impossible. Anyway, as always, I want to thank you guys for taking your time out of your day to watch my video. I really, really appreciate it. Hopefully one of these days I will catch my first flathead of the year. I seem to be in a big flathead drought this year for some reason. But eventually I'll catch one. Thanks again for watching. I hope to see you next time.